Hey guys, so I'm very excited for this video today because it's something I haven't done on my channel before. I'm going to be doing a lipstick swatch video um, and I'm also going to be doing a review on the lipsticks I'm swatching. So as you can see by the title of the video, I'm swatching uh, the Revlon Ultra HD Gel Formula Lipsticks. I can't quite remember the full name. I sh probably should. Yeah, Revlon Ultra HD Lipstick, at least that's what it says on the Priceline website. Now, I don't have the whole collection here. There are 20 shades in the entire collection. I only have eight, simply because um, these colors suit me the best um, and I like them the best. All the other colors, I'm sure they're brilliant, but probably suit other people's preferences and skin tones. So I just give a quick, um, I'll just read the descriptions got here on the Priceline website, which I'm sure they would have got from their reps at Revlon. So it says, it's a rev revolutionary wax-free gel technology for true color clarity in one smooth swipe. Available in a huge range of high definition shades. So here's what they look like, if you haven't seen them yet. Um, these aren't brand new. They've been, I think they first came out in Australia back in March. So they've been around Australia for a couple of months now. Um, so there's the packaging. They kind of remind me of the uh, the Revlon Lip Butter is a little bit similar packaging in the way and similar the shape of the lipstick, how it sort of looks like that. <laughs> it's not a traditional looking lipstick like, you know, this one for example by Maybelline. Because I had noticed that at least in Australia they are discontinuing, well I think they're discontinuing the Revlon Lip Butters. And I thought that these were like going to be the new reinvented lip butters basically or even like a marriage between the Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks and the Revlon Lip Butters. But yeah, these are a little bit different. I don't really know how to explain it. Like the the formula with some, because I've only tried a few of them, like, because they go on really moisturizing, really, like they give you that sort of like glazed kind of finish, which I really, really like. Um, but one of the colors I was wearing, I think it was one of the darker colors that I'll show later in the video. Um, I felt like while that felt moisturizing when I first applied it, I felt the need to go back in and apply it again because eventually my lips actually started to feel a little bit dry. I don't know if that's the formula or perhaps that's just my, my skin, how it reacts to it. But I've noticed that with one of the darker colors. So, because I have tried a couple of the lighter colors and I haven't had that problem. So it's almost like with the darker colors, the, more, the higher the pigmentation, perhaps the more drying it is, which is common. Um, anyway, so enough rambling. I'll get on to what everyone wants to know, and that is the lip swatches. Now, my line is quite yellow, so these might not come off true to camera, so I'm going to give a really the most accurate color description I can come up with. I feel like, personally, I'm, I'm fairly good at giving color descriptions because I did study art all through high school and also at university, so hopefully my university studies help. So the first one I'm swatching here is Magnolia. Now this is uh, a peachy beigey nude I would describe this as and they smell kind of like lollies which is good but they almost smell too strongly of lollies it's almost sickly but I definitely prefer it to minty smells I cannot stand minty smells in lipsticks I just my lips are fairly pigmented so this color may show up differently on on you if your lips aren't as pig pigmented as mine so that's that one Next is Rose. Uh, now this one, when I first saw it and swatched it, I thought this was going to be like a pinky nude, like Magnolia's pinkier, slightly darker cousin, but it's it's not. It's it's definitely not a nude, um, but it is a nice warm toned rosy color. Well, yeah, rose. They named it very very well. It's not. It's a nice warm rose brown color that isn't too dark. So there's that one. Yeah, I quite like this shade. Um, what interested me about this collection as well is that there are no pastel shades whatsoever, which to be honest, I was a little bit disappointed about because I, I really wanted to find like a, a nice nude with this lipstick formula, but there isn't like anything that's really the equivalent of a nude for my fair skin. Yeah, but I thought they would have done pastels, but they didn't. But that, having said that though, there are some absolutely beautiful colors. Like I'm not saying anything bad about the color range at all. I just wish they'd thrown in a couple of pastels here and there. So next is Peony. I love this shade. It's just a nice everyday pink that I think will suit a lot of skin tones, fair to medium at least. I think this I think this color might actually be due for Strawberry Shortcake from the Revlon Lip Butter range. I'll actually just grab it 
and swatch it side by side. I'll be right back. So that one is Strawberry Shortcake and that one is Peony. So as you can see, they're very, very similar. Um, Strawberry Shortcake is just the tiniest bit more cool toned, but it's not noticeable. On the lips, they look pretty much the same. So I'm so glad about that. I found, because that's my, like my all time favorite pink color ever. Just, I, I love a good everyday pink shade. Next to Sweet Pea, so this is a bit darker than Peony. It looks like it's a little bit more cool toned as well. There's that color. It's a bit more of a deeper. I don't know if it's necessarily bright. I can't really think of what this is a dupe for, but I think that's the best way I could describe it. Like when I was describing it in in the tube, it just it's a bit darker than peony, and um, it's it's slightly more cool toned, but yet it's not a really bright pink. I think this is nice for everyday. Oh, I'd like to throw out there, like, obviously not all the lipsticks are going to work with the eye makeup I've got on. So if you just ignore my eyes for a second. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think this is a nice everyday pink. If you want that bit more colour than just like a bubblegum pink or a nude, if you just want that bit of colour. And if you pair it with like a nice neutral simple eye, I think it would look great for a really quick, easy, everyday makeup look. Next we've got Azalea. Who else cannot hear the word azalea without thinking of Iggy Azalea? Like it's, <laughs> that's, that's all I can think about now. So this looks like it's um, a similar tone to that color I showed before, just more uh, warm, to it's just more warm tone and sweet pea by the looks. At least that's how it look looks now. It might apply comple completely different. Mm, that lipstick application was terrible, but yeah, this is another gorgeous shade. So this one's more warm toned. I don't really think what it's a dupe for, but yeah, to put it simply, like maybe it'll help if I swatch on the back of my hand. I'm really str here I am saying at the start of the video that I'm good at describing colours, but this one comes along and I'm just lost for words. So that's it there. Can't really think of what lipstick could be a dupe for, but it's a warm toned pink, to put it simply. I wonder if it matches my nails. Kind of. Yeah, it does. Matches my nails. <laughs> this is the Revlon nail polish in Hot Hand. It didn't mean to coordinate my nail polish and lip products today, but it just happened. But it's not quite, it's a warm pink, but it's not quite a corally pink. It's not warm enough to be coral, if that makes sense. Anyway, next is uh, hyd Hydrangea. Hydrangea? I can never pronounce that word. And this is, I think I actually picked this up by accident. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's my phone. Um, I meant to pick up Sweet Pea when I first bought these and I reckon I picked up this one by mistake because I had to go back and buy Sweet Pea because it's a pink and that's all I wear. <laughs> so I kind of had to. So anyway. So this is a very, very coral shade. There's actually, um, hmm, it, uh, yeah, on camera it looks like there's a lot of orange in it. And actually in person there's a fair bit of orange as well but there is that slight bit of pink in it as well so it's like a coral that's with undertones that are like 80% orange and 20% pink that's the best way I can describe it um, but yeah I I don't often wear colors like these just because they're not really my thing I also don't think they really suit me as well as other color colors do but if you love corals, then I think this is a definite um, winner for you. Like, I think this would look amazing on so many skin tones. And if you've got a bit of a tan as well, like, oh, which is gorgeous. Also, excuse me if I have lipstick on my teeth. I don't know what's wrong with me. I used to be so good at applying lipstick, never getting on my teeth. And then in the last, like, year or so, it's a, I get more lipstick on my teeth than on my actual lips. Some of these have glitter in them as well because when I wipe a, wipe off the lipstick with a tissue, I, I'm left with glitter. So this one is another warm toned color. So this one is Petunia. That's a nice easy one to say. Now this is like a deep berry color. Yeah, I love this. But yeah, it's a really warm toned berry shade. Um, when it fades a little bit, sometimes it even looks like you've got a really soft red 
lip. Um, that's probably not a really good way to describe it. But yeah, I'll just... So this is the this is actually the color I was talking about at the start of the video where when I first applied it, it felt so moisturizing, but after it'd been on my lips for about half an hour, it felt kind of drying. Yeah, that's the thing to be wary of with the deeper, more pigmented colors. Finally, last but not least is Orchid. Uh, and as you can, and as you probably guess, it's a beautiful Orchid color and I love this. I'm always hesitant with purples just because I'm not sure which ones suit me. I sometimes don't like the way they look on the lips. Sometimes they can make your teeth look yellow, etc, etc. But I sort of took the plunge with this one because I thought this was going to be more safe being like quite pink toned. So there's that colour. Isn't that beautiful? I reckon this is the most beautiful colour out of the range. Um, it's just so unique, just so unique in the sense how it's it's a purple but there's so much pink in it, it's wearable for more skin tones, which is a weird way of putting it. So it's, yeah, pinky purpley shade, like the, it's, it's the marriage of pink and purple. It's the colour that's smack dab in between pink and purple, you know, it's, if you, if you want to try, if you want to start trying purple lipsticks, this is your transition shade right here. This is your, you know, if you want to try it out and see what you think, definitely definitely pick this one like it is it is absolutely beautiful i'm so glad i picked this up ah oh, i can't say enough good things about this shade so yeah i guess my final review on these uh if you live in australia i think these are overpriced for what they are but then again all makeup is but they in australia i think these are like 20 bucks each um which is annoying like i bought most of these back in march when priceline were having their 40% off store wide sale on cosmetics. Yeah, so I guess that's the one downside. They're overpriced in Australia. Um, I, I really like the packaging. I like how the lid stays on. I can chuck it in my handbag. Don't have to worry about the lid falling off with like some other lipsticks. The application, um, because of the shape of the lipstick, it's, and I don't have very full lips. I do sometimes find this a bit tricky to apply properly because I feel like it's too big for my lips. If you're someone with really full lips and this applicator will suit you just fine. Um, but it's it's not that difficult, you just have to be a little bit more careful. This pigmentation is pretty good. Uh, the lighter shades, um, they tend to sort of, they take your, your natural skin tone and they modify it a bit. That was a really bad way to describe it, but because my lips are pigmented, the lighter shades, the probably don't look as true to color as they do in the tube is what I'm trying to say. They're that little bit more sheer, but at the same time, they're not patchy, which is good. I found with some sheer lipsticks that are lighter, like they go on patchy and I hate that. Um, but no, these apply evenly, like from the lightest color to the darkest shade, they all apply evenly, which is fantastic. But yeah, just keep that in mind. If your lips are pigmented or if they're not pigmented, the colors probably will show up differently, at least the lighter ones. The darker ones, I feel like most of the time, unless you have really, really deep ebony skin, um, I'd say that most of them will probably show up the same on everyone. But yeah, just keep that in mind, what I said earlier in the video, the lighter shades feel beautiful and moisturizing. But then when you start using the darker shades, like the color Petunia, which was that deep berry shade, I found that to be a little bit drying on my lips after a half an hour or so, but like I said, it could just be my skin, could just be my lips, may not happen to everyone. So yeah, I guess at the end of the day, there's only two negative things I have about it. Um, a is the darker colors feeling drying after a while, and B is the price here in Australia. Everything else is pretty good. It just depends on your personal preference, whether this is the type of lipstick you like, because it, it is it does lean slightly on more sheer and they all have this sort of glazed creamy finish uh none of them are matte is what i'm saying like the finish in all of these lipsticks is pretty much the same so yeah uh hopefully you all like this video hopefully it was helpful i really hope i described the colors as accurately as i could um and yeah so thank you all so much for watching and i'll be talking to you all again really soon bye guys